Kia ora tato. welcome to this video we'll be looking at oxidation reactions. So we've done the redox standard already and there were some common oxidants that we came across in that standard. Uh, we will just need to remember two of those for this one. So one of the oxidants was uh, permanganate, so that was MnO4 minus. You may have seen it as potassium permanganate which would have had a K um, in front of it and then there wouldn't have been uh, this negative charge here, but we will only see it written as permanganate, which is just the, the ion as it is. Um, and when we've got permanganate in acidic conditions, which we always will for the questions that we'll come across, we draw a slash H plus to show that the reaction will be happening in the presence of hydrogen ions. So this one, permanganate, um, and the color that this goes, we need to remember the color of the, the oxidants that we are using. Um, so the color of permanganate starts off as purple. And PLE, so the way that I remember it is that there's the kind of starts with pur, purple, and that goes into, turns to a colorless ion. And the other oxidant that we um, need to remember is Cr2O7 2 minus. So this was dichromate in the presence of hydrogen ions as well, so in an acidic condition. So we've got dichromate and we need to remember the um, color that the dichromate starts off and then if dichromate oxidizes another um, another reactant then what will the color of, of the dichromate become? Um, and so the way that I remember it is that dichromate has the O in the name. So this one goes from orange, orange to green. The reason we need to remember the um, colors that these reagents turn is because we might get a question that tells us that we've got two, um, two solutions, two unknown solutions. One might be, um, an alcohol and one might be an alkane. We're going to learn very soon that an alcohol can be oxidized. So if we were to add permanganate to both of those solutions, we would see that one of the solutions turns from purple to colorless and the other solution would stay colorless or would stay purple, sorry. So the, the, the observation that we see indicates that an oxidation reaction has or hasn't occurred. Um, so there's just two organic compounds that can be oxidized um, from the organic compounds that we know. One of them is an alcohol. So if we take um, ethanol as the example, only primary alcohols will be concerned with because secondary alcohols would be oxidized to a compound that we haven't come across yet. So an alcohol can be oxidized by either permanganate MnO4 minus in acidic conditions or dichromate. So yeah, 2O7 2 minus in acidic conditions. And what we get is that uh, this carbon gets oxidized and we end up with the carboxylic acid group. So we'll go from ethanol to ethanoic acid. O, O, H. And so depending on which um, which oxidant we used, we would observe different things. So if we used permanganate, we would observe this going from purple to colorless as the permanganate changes to manganese ions. Um, and if we used dichromate, then we would observe this going from orange to green because the, the dichromate would turn to chromium ions, which are green. Uh, so that's the first organic compound that can be oxidized. The next one is and alkene, and alkenes can only be oxidized by permanganate. Permanganate is a stronger oxidant and dichromate is not strong enough to oxidize an alkene. So this one is just permanganate minus H plus, and what we get is a diol. So that double bond will break and we will add hydroxyl groups to the carbons. And so we get this um, ethan one ethane one two diol. We don't need to know how to name this. We would just need to know that that gets produced. And 
mainly we'll need to know what the observations would be if we were to see that this got oxidized. So that's all for um, oxidation reactions, just these two to remember and um, crucially the, the observations that we would see that go along with them. Thanks for watching, see you next time.